Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Trojan Football 1991. Tonight, the Trojans take on the Millersburg Indians as they send out Kerwin Kreiser and Phillips as the co-captains tonight for tonight's big ball game. Trojans uh, with a record of 0-3, uh, probably one of the slowest starts the Trojans have had in uh, recent memory, if not forever, I'm not sure about that. And the Millersburg Indians not doing a whole lot better as they have two ties, two 0-0 ties, I understand. And then last week they got blitzed by Juniata by a big score. I think it was like 41-6 uh, or 41-7, something like that. Tro Trojans in the meantime coming off a loss to the Line Mountain Eagles when they were dropped by the Eagles over at Line Mountain last week by a score of 20 to 7. So the, or 20 to 6 make it. Okay, so anyway, the Trojans tonight looking uh, to put their first victory on the board. And it will not be an overly easy task against these Millersburg Indians. And the Trojans will be going with a brand new... Uh, quarterback tonight and Danny Shell. Dan Shell is a sophomore or here at the uh, Upper Dolphin High School and he took over the reins as quarterback when Sean Herb had injured a left wrist or left hand and uh, uh, he will be pressed in action tonight as the starting quarterback very first time in the uh, history of this young man that he has taken over as the starting quarterback for the varsity. He has led the uh, junior varsity very, very well in their play this year. Uh, JV is having a good season. But here is the opening kickoff for tonight's ball game. It's going to be short, taken up short here by a Trojan. We'll find out who this is. This is Maori, and Mike runs it back to the 42 or 3-yard line, 42 probably. It'll be first and 10 for the Trojans on the... Trojan 42-yard line. So Dan, I'm sure, is very, very nervous, but he'll get over it pretty quickly, I believe. And if he gets any kind of pass defense, uh, Danny is a good passer. And if the offensive line uh, comes to play tonight, uh, he could give these Billersburg Indians a lot of trouble. Here's the first play uh, from scrimmage for the Trojans. Handoff going to be to uh, Lanker, and Lanker dives ahead Danny for maybe two. Carry, about maybe two. Or three. It'll be second down and uh, eight, as Den picked Lanker up about two. And uh, first play is a running play. QB Dan will look over here and get some signal calling from the sidelines, of course. In the backfield for the Trojans. And uh, let's see what uh, Danny, we do on a second. Three, and uh, about eight. Pass play, Dan fading back, firing one over this way. He has Lanker open, and Denny's got it at the 45 or 50 yard line, right about midfield stripe. It'll be a gain of about five. It'll bring up third down and about uh, two or three. We'll see where they actually spot it. They're going to spot it just short of the 50 yard line, so it'll be third down and uh, three. So Dan's first pass as a starting quarterback is a successful one to Denny Lanker. Then he has some good hands, made a couple of fine catches in the last couple of ball games. So we'll sure, uh, sure that Dan will go to him again. That's Lanker going in motion over the left side. Danny fading back to pass again, dropping straight back, getting a big rush, dumps it off over here. It's ball popped up in the air, intended, intended for, for Mike Mowry. The, the ball somehow or another was broken up out there. The ball popped the right ball up in the right air. And uh, Nathan Phillips now, about the only one out there that might have had an opportunity to pick off the bounce Jared pass, Kreiser but anyway, that'll end the first series, and Jared Kreiser will uh, come on to punt the ball away for UDA. Need a, another player, and Brent Bell comes into the ball game here now for UDA, the 11th man. Kreiser will be stepping Kreiser up to about his 41-yard line when he Bell. gets this one off. And Good snap. Kick Bellis is back. away, and it's good. Line drive, Line drive taken Bellis at the uh, 12. 15. 15 to 20, and tackled there by number 51 Bellis at about the 24-yard line as uh, Brian Esterline comes in to make the stop Making for, for the UDA. And uh, that'll be yards. first and 10 and now for Millersburg on Roger their own 20. Five. In the backfield for the Indians, the quarterback is number 12, Mike Rothamo. The right halfback, Chris Hoover. Rothamo will be the QB for Millersburg tonight. Flanked out on the far side is Bellis. Hand off and gone up the middle for 
a couple of yards. Got about uh, maybe three or so out of that. Kreiser and Lanker in there around the uh, ball for the Trojans on defense. Picked up three. It'll be second down and seven. Gain of about maybe three, second and seven. Ball around the Trojan defense has been uh, rather suspect the, the first three ball games, so we'll see how they make out tonight against these Indians. Not sure the Indians have much of a potent offense themselves, so should be a good ball game. Pass. Ball tipped in the air, picked off by uh, Lanker, and Denny Lanker may go all the way. Let's see. Nope. It's going to be tackled short of the goal line. The quarterback, Mike Rothwell. A Trojan. The left side of the It'll be first and 10 for the Trojans with the ball on the five yard line. So a super job that time by uh, Denny Lanker and the crew out there. Whoever it was that got that hand on that ball tipped it up in the air, and Lanker was there. So uh, on the previous plays, uh, the Trojans had a ball tipped up in the air that no one could catch. This time, Millersburg has their pass tipped, and Denny Lanker comes down with it. First and goal, Danny Shell sets him up. Hands it off to Lanker. Lanker over the left side. Is he in? Lanker finds no. Him on the left side. Close. Down, down to about the one, maybe. Ball resting just line. short of the goal line now. About one yard to go. Hester Lyon checking out of the ball game for UDA. Along with Phillips. Center in there is uh, Danny Kerwin. No, he isn't. Anyway, hand off to Lanker. Did he get in? Again, yes, side, he did. Or, no, he didn't. Third down. Third down. Well, I thought he thought the ref was signaling he get in, but he didn't. Craig Cassidy is right the center, side, I believe, right now defense. for UDA. Kerwin in there as a uh, tackle, I guess, zone. on that left side of that line. So here we go on a big third down and about one. Sneaking it up the middle. Did he get in? Uh, my, oh, my. Nope. Fourth down. No, he's in. Touchdown. Okay. All right. I think Matt Stone Road called the touchdown before anybody else. But anyway, good job. As uh, Shell keeps it and sneaks it in from about a half a yard out, I guess it was. And the Trojans are on the scoreboard here with 7.42 remaining in the opening period. And Danny will go into the ball game probably as a holder. I'm not sure if he kicks, but he's probably going to hold for our kicker. Nope, going to go for two. No, we won't. Ivan, Ivan Milo, uh, the exchange the student from uh, down South America somewhere. I forget where. Anyway, here's the snap. Looks good. Kick the down. Kick, kick is, is, is good. Is so good. the Trojan tide has and turned in the early going here at any rate. It's 7 nothing UDA. Here in the first period, seven minutes, 42 seconds remaining. And the Trojans up by seven. All right. Looks better. Robbie Shell, brother of quarterback Dan Shell, will tee it up and kick off here for the first time tonight for the UDA Trojans. We'll see what kind of a kick Rob can get off. I know Rob's keyed up for this ball game. He wants to win this and as bad as everyone else on that squad. So here we go. Kind of a low kick. Going to hit down here and be picked up at the uh, 18. And he's out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds there at about the 26 or 7 yard line. Number so Bellis with about a maybe three-yard run back, 16. not much more than that. They'll spot it right at the 25-yard line. Brian not Troutman making down. the stop for UDA. About five yards to the 25 And it's yard first line. and 10 now We're for Millersburg on over their over own 25. <laughs> Millersburg ran two plays in previous time they had the football. Second one intercepted by Lankner and run in for the or run down uh, to the uh, inside the five. Wow, nailed on the very Rock first uh, off handoff of the NDA. second try for Millersburg. In there's Godoweski so and uh, Chris gosh, Wirtz, Kreiser, a whole bunch of them in there Opening making a stop that stop. time. Then it'll be second down and Kim 11. Lundin Lost a uh, yard on that one. Kim Ludenschlager also in on a stop, says uh, Mr. Klinger. Second and nine. 
Quarterback's going to pass one down the left side. He's look or right side. He's looking now. He's going to have to run with it, and he's stopped out there. Ball comes loose, and they're going to rule it was down already as the ball squirted loose, and Kreiser came up with it. But Maori works over there along with uh, Laden Schlager helping to make that stop. Kreiser uh, was right there and came up with the football, but it was uh, blown dead out there. He came to yard to the line of scrimmage. The original line will be third down and ten. Oh, Trojan defense looking good here against these Millersburg Indians. Coach Miskinis in about his third year, I guess, as a head coach down there. Here is a uh, shot over the right side. Richie Kerwin coming up to make an initial hit over there. Wurtz, Kreiser, and uh, Maori in there on the stop along with Thor Keck. Sorry, 42, Richie Kerwin. Richie Kerwin also in an attack. So it was... Uh, Fourth down for the Indians, fourth and about seven. Fourth and seven now for Millersburg, and the young punter will be back at his own 15-yard line. He'll step up to about the 18. He gets the kick away. Number 16. Kick out here is going to be taken over there kick. by uh, Kiter, and Bobby comes back for maybe a yard or two. He's swarmed under over in front of the Millersburg bench, right at the midfield stripe or near it, and it'll be first and 10 for the... Very true. Eric Troop. Back. Oh, he says about it was Eric Troop. After a kick of about okay, I didn't know that was Eric. I thought it was uh, Bobby Kiter. But at any rate, okay, Eric Troop bringing the, the ball, ball back for a couple of yards. Right. It'll be first and 10 for UDA. The ball resting right on the south side of the 50 yard line. Shell hands it off to the second man and coming across right here now is Kiter. And this time, Bobby gets himself Michael about four. As he dives it down close to the 46-yard line. Picked up four. It'll be second down and six. Or that's 22, not 32. Hold Sorry, everything. That was number 22, Jeff Miller on the carry. Jeff Miller. Uh, second I don't down, know. gain of three, second down and seven. I don't know who the spotter is here, but I'm not sure if Mr. Klinger is altogether right on these. Maybe he is, though. Here, anyway, here's a handoff to uh, Maori and Mike got... Maybe one, and that's Mike all, as he got it down two. to the 45-yard line. It'll be third down and a long number five. Brett Bellis, number 66, Brad Bruner. Bellis and Bruner making the stop for the Indians, but uh, gain of about a yard. It'll be third making and about Indians, six. Third down and five for the Trojans. It's a long the five. 45. Paul must go on the other side of the 45 to make it five, so anyway, we'll call it third and six. Big play here for the Trojans. And here comes Danny Shell working his way up uh, Shell, short of the first shotgun. down by about picked one yard. It'll bring up fourth down and a long four. one. Danny picked up nearly four or just about Number five 62, that time. Shannon and it's going to bring up a fourth down Adrian and one. The Indians will fourth down and one. Shell comes in. That is Robbie Shell comes into the ball game along with Kerwin now as they one. get set to punt this ball and away. The Millersburg 41. Are they going to punt it? No, they're not going to punt it. They're going to go for it on a fourth and one. Okay, Trojans are really feeling they have nothing to lose. Handoff comes over here to uh, Kerwin, and Richie Kerwin gets That's the Richie first down Kerwin for the Trojans, the and Rich is a little happy about that. <laughs> and a boy, Rich. <laughs> Rich maintains yes, sir. Rich is uh, really alive tonight out there as he tries to rally his troops and get them going here. And the Trojans on a big fourth and one. Pick up the first uh, down at the 37-yard line now of uh, Millersburg. Here's a handoff, and going up the middle is uh, Mike Maury. He dives it down to the 32 or 3-yard line. Nice run that time by Mike. It'll be second down and about, uh, let's see, about 4. Mike picked up about 6 that time. Nice run that time by Mike. Everybody in tight. Now the Trojans going to run it uh, right down the throat here. Here comes Lanker. Lanker tries to bounce oh, off the Lanker left side over there, right but uh, the he is uh, lassoed down there right about the line of scrimmage. Not line much gain, if anything, 65. on that play. Matter of fact, might have lost a yard. Ball back to the 32-yard line, so it'll bring up a third down and uh, a long four. Third and five. This is going to be a real test again here for the young Trojans as they set them up here on a 
Third down and four. We got to get the uh, first down this time. Let's go, fellas. Handoff is to Maurer. He spins away from the first tackler, gets the first down, or darn close to it. It may be so close they'll want to have to measure this one, but gosh, uh, it was uh, really a nice run that time as Mike was sort of held up initially right about the line of scrimmage, and then he gained the first down as he got just enough for the first down. The ball at the 27-yard line now of Millersburg. Well, the Trojans have found a running game here tonight, and they have found a uh, rather porous Millersburg defense so far against the running game. The Trojans uh, game, the Ro uh, Trojans coming up with some big third and even a fourth down play, and they made it. Back to pass goes Danny. Danny's firing one over into the left corner over there. It is intercepted right at the goal line. In fact, uh, for a touchback, it was Brent intended Bellis. for Miller, but Brent Bellis picked it off that time as the pass was just a little bit Touch short, and, and uh, it was underthrown a bit, line. and the uh, Indians were able to pick it off. So, those is an INT and a Trojan defense. We'll go to work now with two minutes and two seconds remaining here in a pretty fast moving first quarter as uh, teams are staying primarily on the ground. 202 remaining here in period number one. Seven nothing UDA. The ball first and 10 for Millersburg on their own 20 yard line. Millersburg's gonna send a couple of flankers out wide on both sides of the field this time. QB hands it off and trying to go up the middle and Matt grab the pun by uh, Kreiser in there. Richie Kerwin coming in to help also. My, uh, Godoweski, Jeff Godoweski and uh, Kim Ladenschlager. Jared All these Kreiser. fellas in there to help make that stop. stop. It looked like... Okay, uh, second and 10 for Millersburg at their 20-yard line. Good gang tackling that time for UDA. Pass. Looking straight down the middle, he fires one over there. It is tipped into the air and incomplete it goes. Pass That's intended for number 31, 31, I guess. Shane Phillips. Shane Phillips, but the ball tipped again by the Trojans on a good defensive Andy play by Andy Miller that time for UDA coming up and making the and stop. It'll be third down and 10 for the Indians. Third and 10 with a minute 22. Clock stopped after the incompletion, of course, on the pass play. Passing again, looking, firing over in the far side. It's complete. Richie Kerwin over there to grab the him and throw him out of bounds. Complete. Helped over there by uh, Bobby Kiter. Right but Kerwin Richie making Kerwin. the stop, and it's short of the, short first, of the first down, down. and it will bring up a fourth down, and so Millersburg will be forced to punt. They'll give the Trojans the ball back. So the Trojan defense looking very good here Jason in the first Sanders quarter. Back to punt again. That is 10 -yard line. He'll be stepping up to about the 10 to get this one off. And uh, Trojans should get good field position on this. Here's a shot down here. It's going to drive Kiter. Bobby Kiter back. Kiter picks it up, line. misses it, picks, picks it up it again. Up. Now he's got to get a nice block out there. He's got to come around the right side over here. He's got a lot of running room in front of him. Look out. He gets a block, a beautiful block downfield. And Kiter's got to go all the way with it. And boy, did he receive a couple of nice blocks that time. Kiter goes into the end zone with it. Their celebration ensues down there. But boy, did he get a couple of nice blocks. I think Kim Ladenschlager might have thrown a really nice block out here at about the 20 uh, yard line or something like that. He needed it. There were a couple of uh, Indians down there waiting uh, to uh, capture Bobby. And a really nice couple of blocks all the way down that time as you review that. It's going to look really good. And the score also looks really good now. It's 13-0 uh, with 56 seconds remaining here in the first uh, quarter. And the Trojans will try an extra point. They were successful the first time as Ivan Melo from Brazil, I believe he is, uh, kicked the first one. And uh, didn't get much of a rush on the first kick. Here's the second one. It's down, it's up, it's and up. it is good. And, uh, hey, I'll tell good. you what. Uh, the Trojan offensive line really nothing. doing a heck of a job out here. We got a little bit of uh, stuff going on out here now, just a little. Okay, everything's under control. And uh, anyway, uh, Milo getting a lot of time to get the kick off as the snap comes back to Danny uh, Shell, and Dan has uh, time to place it down there, and Milo's got a chance to kick it uh, really unopposed out there. So uh, looks good, that uh, line on the offense uh, doing a job tonight against these Millersburg Indians. 
So for the third time this evening, uh, Rob Shell will tee the ball up at the 40-yard line. Field has the markings on here for the uh, soccer, I guess, have the soccer markings out here. Looks like a hockey arena. The <laughs> face-off circle here in the middle. But anyway, uh, Rob's got her teed up at the 40-yard line, and uh, we'll give her a kick here as soon as the Robbie Millersburg Shell, Indians get into position now. They were huddled up over there getting a little bit of encouragement from their coach. And uh, Back Rob is ready Matt right now. Number 34, Brent Bellis for the Indians. And here we go. Trojans need a game like this, and we heard, uh, certainly hope it continues to unfold this way. Here we go. Kick is low. Bounces out here and going to go out of bounds. And this will cost the Trojans five this time. It's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. And so I believe... Rob will get a chance to uh, kick that one over. Rob says that he thinks that kick was partially blocked. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Anyway, he will get another opportunity. And uh, we'll see what he can do with his second kick. Rob tees it up at the 35. He signaled over to Coach Haynes and said, I don't want to hit the scoreboard with the kickoff. He said, give me a five-yard advantage here. <laughs> No, just kidding, just kidding. You didn't want to break the new scoreboard, you know. Okay, here we go. Kick is, well, this one's even a little lower. Bounds around, free kick. Okay, out there, the free ball. Chris, man. Hoover, the Chris Hoover's got it at the 40-yard line, and he is met there by a bunch of orange shirted jerseys. Shell, the kicker himself, Keck in there also on the stop, along with uh, uh, this young lad here from... Uh, Robert from Likens in there making the stop. I'll uh, think of his name here in a moment. Uh, at any rate, he uh, Scott Markle, that's it, and uh, in there making a stop. Lou in there. So anyway, timeout called now by Millersburg with just 36 seconds remaining here in an excellent first quarter for these uh, UDA Trojans. 36 seconds remain here. Hi. As a barbecue hot. <laughs> okay, anyway, 36 seconds remaining. 14 nothing uh, is the score here, remaining in the first quarter. I mean. And uh, time out for Millersburg. We'll be right back. Coach Clouser comes jogging gingerly off the field here tonight. And. Uh, here we go. Pitch over this way. Comes 34. I think that might be that help. And uh, he is grabbed out there as Wirtz comes up to make the stop. Cassidy, uh, Godoweski, and uh, probably Kim uh, Lunchlayer. Kim really playing some good football out there. Kim seems to be around that ball every time. And the uh, Trojan defense just playing a well of a ball game here tonight. Okay. They're going to have to. We have a few tough games coming up here. The remainder of the season started out with four toughies, and they uh, hardly will get much uh, lighter than what we've already had. So need a big one. And that's going to end uh, the first period as the play uh, is uh, disallowed. The time had run out. And so at the end of the first quarter, the Trojans tonight leading in their characteristic style, 14 nothing over these Millersburg Indians. We'll be right back. Trojan cheerleaders always doing a fantastic job. And uh, again, this year, these are the women behind the men on the field, I guess you might say. And uh, they do a good job out there. Every ball game, rain or shine, they're there, winning or losing, they're there. And uh, they probably feel just as badly many times as the uh, young student athletes out on the ball field. But uh, anyway, they do a good job. Second down and nine now for the Indians at the ball, the ball at the 40 yard line. Quarterback looking, dumping one over the middle. It's incomplete. Wow. And one of the would-be uh, receivers of that one would have to be uh, Andy Miller. He was out there defending on it and uh, just about had himself an INT. But nothing doing. It falls in completion. It'll be third down and nine. Miller is the deep uh, defender back here for UDA. Bobby Kiter nearest. Robbie Shell on the far side in the secondary. 
on this third down and nine. Would appear to be a passing situation, one would think. Yep, dropping back, getting a big rush. Ooh, did he get it off? He did. Incomplete. Once again, the man near it is Andy Miller. Andy says, by gosh, I'm going to catch one of these tonight. <laughs> and uh, Andy's out there eating a lot of dust as he dives after these, and he's going to come off now and take a break as it brings up a fourth down, and uh, UDA sends back... Uh, Let's see. The near side man will be Bobby Kiter, and the far side guy is Eric, the trooper troop. Right, here we go. Good snap. No nope, pass on the fake. Fires one over this way. Uh oh, look out. Could have some pass interference. Yeah, we do. Yeah, as the uh, intended receiver, number 41 out there, was uh, tackled prior to the ball. Uh, getting there, so I think Passion that one's going to cost the Trojans 40. that time as uh, they Edwards wanted to defend that fake right kick, and uh, yeah, I guess I'm not sure whether the Trojan realized he was going to be a receiver, or did he think he was just blocking for the run back? I'm not sure, but at any rate, he, he sure hit him before the ball got there, so this is an uncontested uh, call. UDA. Interference is the call. The ball marked at the 45-yard line of Upper Dolphin, so that's certainly the best field position that the Indians have had uh, tonight and we'll see if the Trojan defense will stop them right there defense playing very well and off and going up the middle is number 21 and Hoover's got about uh, five it'll be second down and five as Rich Kerwin comes up there and makes the stop for the UDA Trojans but after a gain of five, ball sitting right there on the 40-yard line. Got 11 minutes, 22 seconds remaining here in the first half now. Trojans uh, in charge in the first quarter and uh, looking to stop these Indians right here now. And we'll see if they can. 24 has the football, tries to go around the left side. Kim Ladenschlager Number tripped him up initially, and then uh, Jared Kreiser really putting the squash on him over there. After a gain of one, it'll bring up a third down and four. Again, uh, good play out there by Kreiser and uh, that Kim Ladenschlager. Looking really good. Everybody's pretty keyed up. Wurtz looks like he's uh, certainly ready to play tonight. Jeff Godoweski been in on several good stops. See if Jeff, we'll watch Jeff this time, 72 for UDA. And there he is, Jeff with the big stop. Good job that time. Oh, what a cameraman. <laughs> anyway, good job, Jeff. Look who's on the bottom, folks. Did, I, did I not tell you? Jeff Godoweski right there on the big stop. Helped out by a few of his buddies, but uh, also uh, Mari and Aaron to stop. But uh, wow, good, good job again as the Trojan defense has stopped them cold out here. And we bring up a fourth and five, and Millersburg is going to go for it. They're not doing much any otherwise, I guess, so they're going to go for it. Back to pass goes a QB. Fires one far down the right side. He's got a man down here, but it is underthrown. Intended, intended for number 34 and defended right out there by there Bobby Kiter along with uh, uh, Miller, Andy Miller out there on the, on the coverage. And uh, goes an incompletion, and so it'll bring up a first and 10 for the Trojans on their own 40-yard line. Good play that time by the Trojan defense. First and 10 on the 40. 9.42 remaining here in the first half. Fullback back there is Kreiser. Mari and uh, Lanker. Here comes Lanker. Handoff is to Kreiser right up the middle. Jared dives for about five. For about three or four. Out to the 30 or 45 yard line. It'll pick up five. It'll be second down and five. Could run that time by Jared. He looked ready that time as the ball was snapped. He looked like he was going to be ready. Nice gain. Five on the plate, second and five. Gain of five will be second and five at the UDA 40-yard line. Andy Miller, the flanker this time on the near side. Jeff Miller flanking out on the right side for UDA. Motion comes Lanker. Shell going to take it up the middle himself. Dives ahead for about four of them. 
And on the fumble that time, he did fumble on the uh, hit. And Millersburg has the ball back at the UDA 49-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for Millersburg on the UDA 49. And Millersburg takes over. First and 10 for the Indians on the uh, UDA 49. Back to pass is the QB. He's looking down the right side again. This time he's got a man out here, but the ball overthrown by about a yard. Again, Miller and uh, Kiter on the coverage for the Trojans. Nice pass that time. That time he just led his receiver by about an extra uh, two steps, something like that, and uh, goes an incompletion. But he did air it out through that pass about 40 yards, but incomplete. We don't care if he throws them 140 yards if they're incomplete. <laughs> anyway, second down and uh, 10 ball still at the UDA, uh, UDA 49. Pass again, looking. Kim Lodschlager looking too and looking to throw him down and he does. Kim Lodschlager is playing one heck of a defensive ball game. I didn't know Kim could get that aggressive, but boy, he has certainly shown the aggressiveness that has been lacking in this Trojan defense, and uh, Kim really playing one heck of a ball game. Big loss on the play, loss of about uh, seven or better. Let's make it uh, third down and about uh, 17. Should be a passing play, one would think, but you never know. Back he goes, straight back, getting a Pass. Oh, blocked Ooh, down nicely Robert again by Lodenschlager. And I'll tell you that Kim Lodenschlager is a one-man gang out there tonight. What a nice defensive play by Kim. He had the big rush on uh, just as Rothamo was about to get it off. Kim threw the arms up just like you're supposed to and knocked the ball away. Great job that time. Lodenschlager, this will be his highlight film of his career. Well, I hope not, but anyway, certainly a good one. Fourth down and 18, and Enders will kick it away. Wow, got a rush, but got the ball away. It's over there for the Jet Troopers, got it. He goes down that right side and gets it back to the 45, where it'll be first and 10 now for the Trojans at the 40. Let's see where they spot it. Right about the 45-yard line, I guess. So a good job that time by the Trooper. And I'll tell you what, one of these times, the Trooper's going to get himself loose. And he's going to scoot. He can fly. Anyway, it's uh, like to watch uh, Eric play in junior varsity, too. Good JV ball player. Anyway, first and 10. Ball just shy of the 45-yard line as Danny sets him up here. Shell handing it off. Coming around this way is Lanker. He got about two. Not too much uh, on that one. Picks up a pair. Second down and eight. Number 75 also helping out is Matt Novinger. Henderson Novinger stopping the runner that time for Millersburg. After a gain of two, it'll be second down and eight. About the 48 yard line. And here we go. Andy Miller, the flanker out here. Setting up in a slot in the near side is going to be Richie Kerwin. Richie the Flash Kerwin sitting up over here. And back to pass goes Shell. Shell getting a big rush, and he gets Shell. wrestled down back there, there by, by a couple of Indians as they came Shell. flying in there. And that time the Trojan offensive line really letting Dan down a little bit that time as they were in a blitzing okay. situation, come in there like a shot, and were all over Danny before he could possibly uh, get the and pass off. He was just hugging that ball for all he got there just to hang on to it. So it's a third and 15 now as both... Uh, ball clubs have their offense sputtering here just a little bit. And this time Kerwin goes in motion over on the right side. Back to pass goes Shell. Shell looking. And let's see. Danny will not get Shell this one away either as a couple of big rushers, 63 and 75, come in there uh, and knock Danny down back at the 30-yard line. So it'll bring up a fourth down and a ton now. It looks like it's uh, about fourth and 25. Long yardage for the Trojans. So into the ball game comes a punter this time, I do believe, as Dan will check out of the ball game. The Trojans went for a fourth and one and so forth, but this is a little too long, and now UDA will call timeout. So we've got uh, five minutes and 39 seconds remaining here in the first half, and the Trojans up 14-0, and they will give the ball back to the Indians when we come back.
Okay, Trojan timeout is over, and uh, Kreiser, back, Kreiser to back to punt for UDA. Oh, he gets a good snap, real good snap. Punt uh, is a low one, hits out here, it's at the 40, rolls to the 35, now down to the 30, and finally touchdown there at about the 27-yard line. So, uh, excellent uh, punt that time, no run back, uh, Andy Miller making the touch on the ball down at the 27. And it'll be first and 10 for Millersburg uh, on their own 27-yard line. 43-yard punt that time by Jared. Nice punt. No run back. Low punt. Rolling, bounding around out there. Anyone near it uh, elected not to touch it. And so it's first and 10 on the 27 for the Indians. Quarterback hands it off and coming in there to make the grab on him almost immediately was uh, Mike Mowry, Jared Kreiser, Danny Wirtz, and uh, Thor Keck. Also the tackle. Good stop that time by that quartet of uh, Trojan tacklers. Nine. Brings up a second oh, and nine, only a gain of about one on the play. Ball out at the 28-yard line now. Clock uh, moving down at uh, 440 remaining here in the first half. Seems like a quick first half to me anyway. In motion, comes 40 over this way. Back to pass goes the QB. He's dropping straight back, getting a rush. Dumps one over there. And it's taken at the 25. He's at the 30 and knocked down as uh, Mike Murray makes Mike the stop Murray. over there for the Trojans. Kreiser and Keck in there to help again. But uh, Mike made the first hit on him and a gain of about uh, six. The third down and four. Ball at the 33. Gain of five on the play. Actually, third and four. Pass again. Good defense that time, and 21's got it, and Rumble somebody's pass, got him. It's Richie Kerwin. Richie, Richie Kerwin, Kerwin denies the first down, down and uh, makes it short. Flat. It'll bring up a fourth down right flat. and Your about three Maybe or four. Be four. Not down. much on that. Just about three. fourth and a long, very long three, almost Kiter four. Kiter and the trooper back Robert here. A troop on the far the side there, number 21. We'll Kiter, the near side, number 32. So we'll see what the Indians like to do this time. They faked uh, one of these punts earlier. Here's the snap. No, he's going to kick this one. And he does. And it's got to come over here to Kiter. Kiter at the 36. He's at the 40. And hung on to and by the shirt the back there shirt. and uh, slowed him down. And then a couple guys come up and hit him. And Bobby gets it back to the 46-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Trojans on their own 40, I'll call it the 47. And he returned the ball about maybe 302 remaining here in the uh, first half. See if the Trojans can get that uh, offense in gear again here now. Shell hands it off over this way with a lot of running room. That time comes Denny Lanker. A nice run, picks up about five or six. As Denny drives it out to the 49-yard line of the uh, Indians, 48 actually. So uh, picked up uh, five. It'll be second down and uh, five. Everybody spread across the back of the backfield this time. Hand off again to Lanker. Lanker tries to turn to the left side. He's got a lot of running room. And he's bounced out of bounds here at the 35-yard line of uh, Millersburg. Fine run that time as he picked up about uh, 12 or 13 yards on that carry. So a nice run by Denny Lanker. Denny was injured last year and... Uh, was missed, and uh, it's good to see him back there running again this year. He's looking good. First and 10, ball at the uh, 30, about the 36. Handoff going up the middle is Maury. Mike gets about two or three, probably three. Leading the interference for Mike that time was uh, Cassidy for the Trojans, and the Trojans go with a quick uh, huddle here. They're set. They're ready to go. Second and seven. They're going to just keep banging away at him. 
Handoff over there goes Kiter. He's picking his way around the right side, but Bobby uh, didn't get a whole lot of blocking that time as there was a goodly number of uh, Indians hiding in the bushes out there, and they bushwhacked Kiter before he could do very much with that one. Might have, might have lost a yard on. It'll be third down and eight. One minute, 43 seconds remaining here in the first half. UDA still with that 14 nothing lead. Okay, Trojan timeout is over, and we got a third and eight facing UDA right at the moment. Here goes Kiter. Kiter on the reverse around this way to Jeff Miller. Jeff spinning around this side. Does he have some running room? Yes, he does. He gets another good block. This time it is by Danny Shell. Has Dan come up and made a super block out here to spring that one? Nice run that time by Jeff Miller on the uh, reverse. And uh, Danny Shell picking up a big, important block, and we've got a first down for the Trojans. Good job, Jeffer. And it is uh, first and 10 with the ball on the 22. Handoff again. This time comes uh, Lanker. Lanker with a good block out there from uh, Maori. And uh, he's got a first down, down near the 10. Mike Maori leading the way that time for the Trojans and getting a good block, among others, to spring him around this uh, left side over here. Is it first down? I think it is, and it's inside the, the 10 or on the 10. It's on the 10, so it's first and goal for the Trojans from the 10. We'll keep an eye on the clock now. Clock down a minute, 28 seconds, but he went out of bounds, and so that stopped it. Hand off. This time it's Lanker again. Lanker with some Lanker. plenty of room. Touchdown. touchdown. All right. Denny All right, Lanker from on. 10 yards out goes in for the TD. Good job, Denny Lanker. All right, good job, UDA and Trojan Mike offense. Possible. The whole offensive line that time making a really good, or giving a really good effort out there. Okay, we've got a minute, 21 seconds remaining as Milo goes back into the ball game. Milo's been successful. He's been two for two. He'll be kicking out of the hole to Danny Shell. If they do it again, we'll stay in here a little closer this time. Man, the, the line blocking is terrific on this. Danny gets all kinds of time. So it's the ball down. Milo checks it over, kicks it. Uh, it is good. Out of here. All right. Okay. Extra point good. Shades of Alex Vidal here. Hey, I'm Five, telling you, as long as we keep as long as we keep recruiting these uh, South not, Americans, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be all right in the kicking game. Anyway, congratulations, Milo. Three for three. Good job, boys. We have got one minute, 21 seconds remaining here in the first half. UDA, 21. The Millersburg Indians, zero. I mentioned earlier that Millersburg got kicked last week by a pretty tough Juniata ball club, 41 to seven, so seven or six, something like that. And uh, so it uh, would make you suspect as far as what kind of quality Millersburg really has this year. But uh, anyway... Trojans need a ball game like this, and they're getting one tonight here against one of their rivals, the Millersburg Indians. Uh, coming from the east end of the district, I always think of Williams Valley as being the rival, but I know there's an awful lot of people down this way that think uh, Millersburg is even a bigger rival. From the 22 out to the 25, drives it ahead to the 35, and finally tackled. Out at the 36-yard line, uh, line is Helm. Richie Kerwin, uh, there's uh, Ladenschlager, and... Uh, Bruce Stace in there uh, helping to make the stop. Here comes and that Trojans Troutman boy. Over at their All right. Sorry, Indians take over at their 36 It's on the 36 line. first and 10 for Millersburg. They'll have one minute and, well, they'll have less than a minute when they get this off now. Clock down to 102, 101, and so forth. So under a minute to play here in a good first quarter for UDA. Rothamo going to drop back. Passes one over there on the flat on the left side. It's complete, Rothamo's and he's going to be tackled over there as he gets there, a five. few yards. Number 21, uh, 21 Eric, Troop, Eric Troop, helping to make the stop or making the, the stop, tripping him up that time. I think Andy line. Miller might have been in there to help also. It'll be first and 10, could be yeah, one of the yards. few first downs that Millersburg has enjoyed here in the first half. It is a first down, picked up. Uh, just about 15, I guess. It'll be first and 10 from the 48-yard line of Millersburg. The clock had stopped with the out-of-bounds play. 
Quarterback back to pass. Can we pick it off? Yes, we can. It's picked off out here this time by Andy Miller, and Andy's got his wish. As Andy looked for an interception the last several times, he came oh so close. And Andy coming up with the big interception that time. Congratulations to Andy Miller, and Andy's going to stay in the game. He's, he's hyper. He wants to play quarterback now. <laughs> anyway, good job, Andy. You can just feel that one coming, folks. And the Trojans will take over at the 44. They will have 29 seconds to work with. Clock stopped on the exchange of the football. And a handoff on the draw. Up the middle comes uh, Mike Mowry, and Mike trying to spin around that right side over there. And a good tackle that time by number 40. As uh, Mike was looking like he might get uh, some big yardage if he could turn it upfield. And all of a sudden, Scheib comes up and makes a stop for Millersburg. And a gain of uh, only four. Looked like it probably could have been more. But anyway, we have 17 seconds left here on the... Uh, time clock in the first half as Mike trots out of the ball game now so he'll see no more action in the first half but uh, he has played well as they all have and Coach Hain in there to encourage the fellas and uh, we'll be right back after this uh, UDA timeout. Coach Hain in a much more normal uh, circumstance tonight now with his ball club out there running like a smoothly oiled machine or nearly so anyway. Here's Shell on the shotgun with a long pass. Downfield got a couple of would-be receivers Shell out here, and it is and intercepted, off. I picked guess. I guess 40. not. Okay. It was intended for either Miller Pretty or high. Lanker. They were both out there, but Scheib makes the stop for and Millersburg, and uh, first and 10 Millersburg. With eight seconds left. Eight seconds remaining here in the first half, so Trojans in... Uh, very little trouble here now as the clock has started, and I don't think Millersburg will even get a playoff. I think that's going to end the first half. They're going to have to really hurry. Clock down to one. In fact, that's it. The first half and has ended, end half. and a good half it has been the for the UDA Trojans the tonight as they have tacked on 21 unanswered points against these Millersburg Indians. And, uh, boy, what a relief it is to finally come up with a... Uh, team like this and the kids deserve an awful lot of credit for hanging in there and they're encouraging their fans to uh, give them a little support and the fans uh, oblige them. Okay, 21 nothing at the end of the first half of play. We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. Phillips, Kerwin, and Kreiser, the co-captains for tonight's skirmish against these Millersburg Indians. They're out there at halftime and I think they're a happy uh, trio out there at halftime for the Trojans tonight as the Trojans have taking, taken the lead into the second half here against these uh, Millersburg Indians. And we'll be back with the Trojan kickoff as the Indians will receive the ball to begin the second half of play in just one moment. Rob Shell. will tee it up here on the 40-yard line. We'll be kicking off here, Robbie Shell. Rob had his opportunities at kicking off in the first half, had some kind of kickoff. Some of them were high, some of them were short, a couple of them were ground ball. <laughs> ground ball, so it's uh, pretty hard to defense this one, I guess, because you never know where the ball is going to go. And, of course, uh, no one has that feeling more than Rob, I guess. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, here comes some kind of a kickoff from Rob. And, uh, here we go. And this time it is a... Uh, kick taken at the, well, bounced, picked up, and fallen upon at the 34-yard line. Ground ball. So, uh, <laughs> short hop ground ball, Coach uh, Klinger here. Steve Klinger called it. Anyway, he gets it to the 34-yard line, that kickoff or whatever it was. And uh, it'll be first and 10 now for the Indians at their own 34-yard line. Now, needless to say, with a score of 21 uh, nothing, the Trojan defense really playing tough football against these Indians here in the first half. So we'll see if they can continue that effort here in the second half. Rothamo hands it off and immediately uh, my, uh, Wirtz in there Kim grabs Lodenschlager a hold of him as Wirtz. Uh, Danny Wirtz and K Kim Ladenschlager combining to make the stop. Kim with, uh, beginning where he left off here just 15 Robbie minutes ago. Probably Shell comes up to put the touch on him, but Wirtz and Ladenschlager really doing the job that time for the Trojans. Gain of one, second down and nine. Thor the Kecker in there and as a defensive end on the near side yards. of the field second for, for the uh, Trojans. And timeout is going to be timeout. called now as Rothamel did not look 
or did not like the look of that Trojan defense, so they call time. We've played exactly one minute here in the third quarter, and uh, score still, of course, 21-0 UDA. It'll be second down and nine when we come back. The ball will be resting on the 35-yard line. Okay, the Indian timeout is over. Second and nine. Back to pass, flag is thrown, pass on the far side complete pass for about two out. yards as boy. He draws a crowd out there almost the immediately. Kreiser, Keck, um, including number 34, Chuck, Chuck Zerby in, in there, out. Richie, Kerwin, Kreiser, Ladenschläger. I'll tell you, everybody but Coach Clauser was in on that stop. <laughs> anyway, there was a flag thrown, and it was thrown early. It's against the uh, Indians. Uh, they're talking to our commander-in-chief of the defense out there, uh, Jared Kreiser. And Jared says, uh, let's see. Illegal procedure. Never mind, we won't take the penalty. We'll take the play, which went nowhere. It'll be third. Well, actually, game two. Third down and seven. Paul's at the 37-yard line now of uh, the Indians. And I do believe he's going to pass. Got two men out in the near side of the field here just for that purpose. And he's going to drift back and look for one of those guys. He fires one over. Here it is. Incomplete as the intended receiver, number 31 out here. Or 31, rather. Phillips. And he was covered nicely by a couple of Trojans, not the least of which is Sparky Kerwin out here. And uh, he made the defensive, uh, good defensive effort and uh, brings up a fourth and seven. And they go back into punt formation. Again, the trooper over there on the far side. And wow, high snap, but he'll handle it. But nice boy, kick nice after kick after that terrible snap. And uh, Eric, Eric Troop makes the fair catch over there and 30. makes the fair catch. Seven yards. Uh, the line. Trooper without a chance that time to run that one back, but so uh, he's going to get a couple chances yet. And uh, it'll be first and 10 for UDA on the 38, 38 yard line. First and 10, Trojans. Now we'll see if the Trojan offense can start to glide a little bit here. <clears throat> Flankers out on both sides, the Miller boys. Not brothers. Not sure if they're relatives or not, but at any rate, over here comes Denny Lanker. Denny gets a good block from... Uh, again, coming uh, around the outside, but... Let's see, he got one good block that time from Mike Mowry. Mowry took his man out, but somebody else allowed a few people to get in there, and so... Uh, goes as a one-yard gain for Denny. And um, he's second and nine now. Mike Mowry runs up the middle that time, picks up about five, almost missed that play. I was trying to check a couple of numbers out here. But anyway, Mike goes up the middle, gains uh, five, nearly six, be third and three. Got about three and third and three for UDA. At their 45-yard line. Third and three. Pass right over here, complete to Andy Miller. Andy's got it, and he's run out of bounds over here uh, at the 47-yard line of the Indians. That's good for a first down. Nice pass that time and a good catch. Man, Danny had him wide open that time, and Andy was just standing there waiting for that uh, reception, and he made a nice catch on the play. On a nice pass from uh, Danny Shell. Sophomore Danny. And here we go. They're playing right in front of us at the 47 yard line. Handoff over here to Lanker. And Denny this time Lanker. is stymied almost immediately as he's wrapped up out here. No gain on the play. It'll be second down and uh, 10. Rothamol coming up to make a good uh, stop that time for the Millersburg Indians. Kids played a nice game. Stops and uh, no gain, no second, gain. And second and 10. 8.53 remaining in the third period. Trojans have yet to score in this half, but uh, they're working on it. Handoff is to Bobby Kiter. Bobby's going to streak around the right side. Gets a good block from Maury. He'll let him go inside, and he is down at about the 37-yard line. Looks like it'll be awfully close to the first down if it isn't. 21, Chris Hoover. We'll Breaking see where down. they spot it. It's going to be short by about a yard or so. Close to that first down. And it'll be third, be third and one. one. Nice run that With time by SPN Mike Mowry, and a, or by PDF Bobby Kiter, rather, and a good line. block out there by Mowry. Bobby following the blocking, picked up uh, nine. 
and third down and one. Nice play. Trojans are getting that tonight. They didn't get it the first couple of ball games. They're getting it tonight. Handoff and Maury this time unsuccessful on the third and one as he is tripped up in the backfield. And uh, it's going to bring up a fourth and uh, two. Fourth down and two. Hmm. Ball at Makes the it a little more uh, questionable, I guess. Fourth and two. Of course, the Trojans will go for it. They're going to have a sweep over on this side. Yep, here he comes. Here comes Denny Lanker. Did he get the first down? Did he ever? He got the first down and plenty more as he is driven out of bounds down here at the 23-yard line. There's a flag in the backfield and hold everything. I think it might be against those... Trojans, I believe. They're going to be talking to a Millersberger, the referee trying to sort out uh, and find a Millersburg captain. So that's going to nullify a fine run that time by Denny Lanker. Of course, the penalty may have helped then. I didn't see it, but let's see what it was. Holding will be the call against those Trojans. And that's going to march it back to the 40, 40 six yard line of uh, Upper Dolphin, and it'll bring up a fourth down and about 18. Or 6, 16, yeah, okay, fourth and 16, 17, something like that. And now Kreiser will have to do the punting. So the Trojans, with an opportunity, had a first and 10, and instead they end up with a fourth and long. And so Kreiser will snap, or will kick this one off. All right. And Jared's getting a really decent roll as it rolls all the way down and is going to be down down there by that Andy Miller down at the 10. So uh, good coverage that time by Andy and Jeff as they left it roll all the way down to the 10-yard line and another nice kick by Jared. Millersburg unable to uh, run back these punts and the uh, not having a whole lot of luck on the kickoffs, but Jared's really been rolling that ball nicely and uh, a lot of yardage that time on that punt. First and 10 now for Millersburg. Ball right at the 10-yard line. Matter of fact, laying right on the 10. <clears throat> First and 10 from the 10. So the young Indians of Millersburg have uh, their work cut out for them. Pitch back over there to that number 30, 24. And number 10, Shell, bounces Helt, off of him. And Helt goes uh, he up there uh, to about the 15-yard line or so. Gain of maybe five on the play. Rob had a like shot at him uh, first over there, but uh, he eluded Rob out, out there and picked up a couple of more yards. It'll be second and four. He gained nearly six. Ball out at the 16. A oh, good run that time. Give the young lad credit. Swinging around that left side over there. He's in dangerous territory, though, because that Kim Lodenschlager is lurking over there, and Kim doesn't like that. Uh-oh, quarterback's in trouble as Thor Keck comes in and grabs him along with Wirtz. Looks and a like nice a defensive play by Thor there, that time, right? and Thor's happy about that one. a boy, Thor. Nice kid. And he makes Thor a good Keck. stop that time as the quarterback kind of was back there uh, naked, as, a, as they say. I mean, he had no one to pass to or to hand it to. He just kind of froze himself there, and Thor come up and wrapped him up very nicely. Loss on the play. Um, breathe third down and seven. Third and about seven. QB dropping back, looking, looking. Now he's going to get a chance to run it. No, he's not. As, uh, whoa, wait a minute, the ball came loose, but I think the whistle had blown. See what happens here. Yeah, they're going to say the whistle blew. <laughs> Kim Lodge like he's going to say, you got to be kidding. Anyway, Mike Mowry coming up to make a really nice play that time on the uh, quarterback. Mike doing a good job. And uh, ball That's placed at the line, nine, so it's and it's fourth and down and a little more than 10, about 11. Jason Enders. Enders will be standing about back about uh, two yards deep in and his end zone Georgia to make this punt. Troop. Let's see if the Tiger. trooper can get this one. And, ooh, look out, low uh, pass, snap. Anyway, it's got to come over in. here, and, and well, they're going to allow it to roll dead. Rolls up, rolls up here to the 42. Yards. Not a bad kick that time by that young uh, Indian, and the Trojans GDA will take will over first and 10 on the Indian 42. 527 remaining as they set it up first and 10. Handoff going up the middle, Jared Kreiser. Kreiser driving Jared ahead Kreiser on the carry. for about a half a dozen yards, darn nearly anyway. Right 
Friday. Nice blocking that time. Go to Weski and Kerwin leading the way that time for Jared. And uh, okay. picked up six. It'll be second down and uh, about six. Or five. <clears throat> or four. All right. Sorry, 30, 36-yard line. This time it's going to be uh, Kerwin, Kerwin, and Richie Kerwin dives to the 33. The the It'll be line. close to the first down, about a yard short. Matt and uh, and bring up Russell. a third and one. Who combined to make quite a few tackles tonight for the Indians, make the stop again. Third down and a short one for the Trojans. Third and one, who's going to get it this time? Kerwin again? Nope, this time it's going to be Denny Lanker. Denny's grabbed Denny in the backfield. The Coming up to make a fine stop is number 65 for the Indians. Ryan Tobias, Ryan Tobias comes up and tackle. makes a stop as he comes flashing the in there before be Denny could either five. get it going good or make any kind of a move. He kind of captured him immediately. And so we lost a couple of three yards that time. And we'll make it fourth down and four. Trojans will go for it. Matt Stone Road checks out of the ball game for UDA. Jeff Miller flanked out on the far side of the field for the Trojans. And back to pass goes Danny Shell. He's looking. Dumps one over the middle. Incomplete off the fingertips That's of Danny Lanker that Danny time. Lanker. Denny that pretty much sure-handed. Uh, could not bring that one in. Might have been thrown just a little bit behind him. And that'll give the ball back to the Indians now on their own 35-yard line on downs. Ball goes over to Millersburg. First and 10, Millersburg on their own 35. Quarterback has it, 34 has it, and Wirtz has him. As he held him up long enough to get some assistance out there from Robbie Shell and uh, Jared Kreiser. But uh, Danny Wirtz with the initial stop on him. And it'll bring up a second and 12 now as the uh, Trojans combine to make that stop. Bring up a second down from the 34-yard line. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What a play. Quarterback never saw that one as the ball goes right through the quarterback's legs. Quarterback standard looking around, checking off, calling some counts. The ball in the meantime is in his backfield. <laughs> okay. What a strange play. I don't know who to give credit for that one. I give, we'll give the credit for that stop to the center of Millersburg or whatever. I don't know what happened to that. That was a terrible play. But anyway, the ball back now at the 27 yard line as the Millersburg Indians continue in a negative direction. It's now third down and about 18. QB hands it back there. Look out. Kim Lodgelegger in pursuit, but he's uh, not going to get him. But wow, coming up there and make a good stop, and the ball comes loose. I thought, wait, Jeff Miller uh, with the ball, and Thor kick coming up to make the big pop, and Thor and uh, Richie Kerwin are pretty excited about that play. Heck of a play. Gain of about three on the play. We'll bring up a fourth down and just about 15. Fourth and about 15. Jason Enders back to kick. Enders has had some pretty exciting snaps back there, so we'll watch this one. Whoa, jeez, and he's gonna pass it anyway. Passes it over to the far side, incomplete. Intended over there for number 21. But boy, the Enders kid, or I think it's his name, the punter back there, or the passer in this case, is really getting some really strange centering snaps. And that was uh, one of them there. So uh, very fortunately, he got the pass away anyway and uh, avoided a sack back further. But the Trojans take over now as they hold Millersburg on downs. And the ball is on the 31-yard line with a minute 42 remaining here in the third quarter. Trojans up 21, uh, nothing. Here comes that uh, Bobby Kiter. Bobby turns Kiter it up the right side. He's got a couple right of yards. As he dives down to about the 26-yard line. Gain of maybe four. He's second down in uh, six. Maybe gain. Second down, handoff this time is to Mike Mowry and Mike. Mowry struggles to get a yard, maybe. Mike Mowry on tackle number 75, Matt Nottinger. No more than that. Is Mike not having Making any kind of luck on that run? And so it'll bring up a third, third down, down and uh, about a long four. Mowry. 
Third and four. Run and shoot formation for the Trojans. Overcomes it. Oh, wait a minute. I think we had motion that time on the Trojans. It looked as though perhaps two people went in motion. Let's see. They're talking to... Well, they're not even going to talk about this one. I think this is illegal procedure. Yeah. Against the Trojans. I believe we had a couple of guys Trojan. moving that time at the same time. Or lining up off sides or whatever. But it looked like somebody moved. Anyway, it's uh, going to bring up a third down and nine. So... The Trojans not really playing a tremendously sharp ball game, but in control. It's just that we haven't messed up as many times as uh, Millersburg has messed up so far, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, looking much better. Here comes Kiter in motion on the far side. Back goes Shell to pass. He's trying to evade a tackle, but he's not going to do it as Danny is thrown down back at the 44-yard line. Tackle by Jason Enders. And uh, Enders in there on the stop. And Enders uh, shaken up a little bit. Yards. And that kid has really played yards. one heck of a ball game. And and broke through from he's right. uh, injured now. He's Defense down. I think position. he'll be okay, but uh, not getting up right away. Might have got a Charlie horse. And we At any rate, turn. it's going to bring up a fourth down and a ton the for the timeout. Trojans when we come back from this injury timeout. Just a scant seven seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Trojans up 21 zip. Fourth and long now. Tobias, the injured ball player from Millersburg, he goes off the field on his own power, so he'll be okay. And Kreiser, and wait a minute now, timeout's going to be called. The the or no, quarter, time called for the end nothing. of the third quarter. So Trojans Kreiser lead 21 0 at the end of uh, three. Well, now we've turned the ball around. The Trojans are going to be heading south as Kreiser will kick it off from about the 47-yard line. Here's his punt. Kreiser's kick. And again, he gets a good UD roll all the way down there to the 15 or somewhere in that neighborhood. So about a 35 Nice kick again that time by Jared. And the Indians will take over about their... Mark Daniels coming off here for the UDA Trojans. <clears throat> among a whole group of other ones. Uh, Brian Esterline, Brent Bell, checking out of the ball game now as they take a break and the defense goes to work. Final period we're into now. We've got 11 minutes and 38 seconds remaining in the ball game. Back to pass goes Esterline. He's looking right over here. We got a incompletion. Goes through the hands of number 37. 31, Shane Phillips. And uh, that's uh, going to bring up a second down and 10. That was Rob Shell making the coverage out there for there. UDA. As a possible receiver. And stops the clock with 11.26 remaining. And a second and 10 coming up for those Millersburg Indians. <laughs> second and 10. Back to pass again he goes, but he's getting a big rush, and Kim Lodenschlager will drag him down back at about the five. Kim playing one whale of a football game, and he gets him again. Back at the five, they're going to spot it right on the five, so another excellent defensive play by Kim Lodenschlager. Boy, oh boy, I'll tell you. What a difference a week makes, and uh, perhaps the Trojans have gotten it together. They'll get tested next week as they travel. Um, or, no, they're home again for a uh, homecoming ball game, I believe it is. Anyway, uh, on the next the hand off, nothing green. doing that time ball as ball the uh, Trojans bunch up on them out there. Mari and out. Keck and uh, Godoweski, perhaps, uh, in there the making the hit for the Trojans. Brings up a fourth and 20. And uh, he'll punt it away this time from the shadow of his goal line. Again, you got to watch himself. He's standing right on the very back. I mean to tell you, he is way back. Let's look at this snap. Oh, gets a good snap this time. Here's a line drive out here. Going to be taken by Kiter. He's at the 40. He's at the 35. He's at the 30. Ooh, wow. Bumped down, and the ball came loose, and the ball's going to be controlled by, let's see who. Kiter was nailed there. By Millersburg. By Bobby Kiter really goal. ran into a wall out there, and Bob just bounced off, and the and football bounced off, too. Bob says, did you get the number of that truck that hit him? Because he was really stopped. Bob's chill trying to figure out what happened. 
Anyway, the Millersburg Indians take over now on the uh, recovery of the fumble. At the 28-yard line. Moll will be spotted on the Millersburg 28. <clears throat> nice run back that time, though. Bobby was getting ahead of steam up before the gasket blew out there. <laughs> anyway, here we go on a first and 10. From the 28 for Millersburg. Back to pass. QB looking down the right side. Oh, and a big rush. Mike and a big Cole sack coming in there from Jeff Godoweski. All right. Jeff and Jeff making his presence known there as he leaped up into the air Gosh. and uh, came down all over the quarterback. And so it'll be second and 17 now as the Trojans are really putting the pressure on that uh, offensive line of Millersburg. I'll tell you, the Trojans had their share of uh, problems like that, and tonight they're just going to return the favor, in this case to the Millersburg Indians. But uh, we, we know what that's like, so uh, just a good ball game. Here's 24, and he now runs into a mess the over there at the uh, Trojan Kodowski line. Kodowski over there among Kreiser others, Kreisers. Richie the Tiger Kerwin in there. So uh, they're looking good. Thor Keck making a stop, too, they and said. And, and off comes uh, Jared Kreiser. We'll make it third and 15, the ball at the 20. He and Danny Wirtz check out goal. now. Let's see. Trojans put in there uh, Chuck Zerby for one person I see in there now. Anyway, third and about 15. QB going back to pass again, getting a big rush. Ooh, he spins away, and wow, look out. Coming up there is uh, Mike Mowry coming up to make a stop along with uh, number 5-0 over there. And uh, good defense that time again for the Trojans. Fourth and 10, and Millersburg will kick once again. Eric Troop will have an opportunity to run this ball back. back. He's back so there along with uh, Kreiser, or uh, uh, Kiter. See the snap. Oh, nice snap that time. And a nice lofty punt taken by uh, Kiter at the 43. He's at the midfield stripe and gets down to the 48-yard line of Millersburg. First and 10 for the Trojans at the Millersburg 48-yard line. Good run back that time by old BK. Actually about a 35-yard kick. Number 60. Bernie and the Trojans will go on the offense now from the 48-yard line with seven and a half minutes remaining here in the uh, ball game. Denny Lenker is checking out of the game right now as we speak for the Trojans. And in there is Steve Yeager, and Steve goes in motion over on the left side. Pass, near side, complete in there to Close Jeff Miller. To Jeff Miller. Nice Close play that time as Jeff picks it off real quickly as uh, Danny Shell with a good completion. It'll be a gain of eight, second down and two. All right. Millersburg by 40, 41 yard line. The Millers are the flankers, Andy on the far side, Jeff on the near side. And up the middle with the football for the first down, and plenty more goes, uh, let's see. Let's see who that was. Mike Mowry that time, and Mike following the blocking of, of uh, any number of uh, Trojans out there, Phillips and uh, 51 Harris. Or no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Coach Clear, the 51. 51 not Harris, but that was our 51. Okay, we'll check him out here in just a second. Esterline, okay. Leading the way that time for Maori. Mike lines up in the fullback position right in the back. There goes that uh, uh, Steve Yeager. And Steve's got the football. Spins around the left side and gets some good yardage all the way down to the 26 or 7 yard line. to see where they spot it. Steve Yeager carrying And the football. Steve doing a good job that time on that run. In about seven. Steve we see playing excellent JV football also, so we know Steve very well out there. He's getting a chance in the last two ball games to play some varsity football and has done a good job. Okay, he lines up in the slot on the near side. Eric Troop, the trooper's going to get a chance. He's going to spin around this side and oh, he's pulled down. Out here at the 35-yard line, so Eric never got a chance to uh, put it in overdrive that time as uh, young Indian come up there and uh, pulled him down pretty quickly. 
in the backfield. So it's third and ten now. So whatever Steve had gained on the last time, uh, Eric gave it back. <laughs> Eric gave it back that time, but that's only uh, wasn't his fault. Eric said six or seven more good blocks out there, and he would have been able to gain a couple. So here we go. See who gets it this time. Is it Maori's turn? No. Quarterback's going to keep it. Danny fires one down his way. It's intercepted. Wow, what a good Bad interception by, by number 24, Matt Helt. And, and uh, he is thrown out of bounds by Dan Shell right in front of the Trojan bench. But uh, third interception tonight for the Millersburg Indians. And um, that's uh, just uh, and, uh, probably not untypical of a new young quarterback. As he uh, always would wish that he wouldn't have threw that football. Of course, that's typical of anybody in there. A new position like that. So uh, the Indians tonight, thank goodness, have not been able to capitalize on any of the interceptions. And timeout's going to be called by Millersburg now with five minutes and four seconds remaining here in the ballgame. 5.04 left in the ballgame. Trojans still with that 21 nothing lead. And uh, Millersburg will have the ball. We'll be right back. Okay, the Trojans have put a new defense in there now. New de uh, personnel, I should say. 34 goes in motion over on the right side. Quarterback's going back to pass. Dumps it over there to 34. He's got it. Richie Kerwin uh, right, trying to Bellis. catch him. And Bellis, still on his feet, runs out of bounds over in front of the right Millersburg line. bench. Forced out over there by uh, number 40, Matt Stone Road, I believe. Kerwin and uh, Robbie Shell had a shot at him. But uh, went out of bounds at the 47-yard line four, of the Trojans. He picked up four. Second down and six. Big 65, Danny Kerwin in there waiting to thump on somebody if he gets an opportunity. And um, here we go on a second and six. Quarterback drifting back to pass. And oh, this time the Trojans will not. There's that Danny Kerwin. Kerwin and Keck. Uh huh. The killer K's in there, Keck and Kerwin, making the big stop for the Trojans that time. So the K&K &K boys, Kerwin mm -hmm. and Keck. Yeah, now see, that Steve Maybe Klinger tackle. picked that up. See how, how in, influential I am? I called him the K&K &K boys, and then Steve Klinger called him that, too. I'll have to talk to Steve about that, stealing my uh, acronyms or whatever they are here. <laughs> okay, anyway. Boy, I'll tell you, winning, sure, will never replace, I mean, losing will never replace winning. Winning is such fun. Here's another big rush. Pass incomplete. Intended out there for Richie Kerwin. And some flags are thrown. I was just kidding. It wasn't intended for Kerwin. But nevertheless, flags being thrown out there now. Let's see what kind of a problem we have. What developed this time. It looks like it's going to be against the Trojans. It's pass interference. Oh, okay. That's, that's why uh, Rich was uh, so close to that play. I guess he must have knocked the other receiver, <laughs> knocked the other receiver down. Huh? Anyway, Kerwitz got to come out now and uh, renegotiate his contract. Rich has played a fine ball game tonight and uh, deserves a lot of credit out there, both on the offense and the defense. He is replaced in there by a young guy, I think Walters, I think he said his name. Mr. Klinger said his name was. Now we're picking up some of the fellows that are down a little further on the sheet, but I will make every attempt to give them their due when I can. Okay, back to pass goes the QB. Fires one over this way. Incomplete in and out of the hands of number 31, and uh, he uh, objects to the way Mike uh, Mowry tackled him, but uh, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it Adam wasn't Arts. Mike Mowry. That was Adam Arts. Ah, uh, that's right. That's that Adam Arts in there. So Adam with the defensive move that time. Fenstermacher, I believe, is a young fellow on this side of the uh, ball. Right end uh, defensively for the Trojans. Back to pass goes the QB. Big rush, and that Number is Fenstermacher, I believe. We'll find out right now. Sean Fenstermacher with a right fine tackle. Well, I'll tell you, you just mentioned these guys, and already they're out there performing as uh, this is going to be the kicker coming out of the ball game. And he has played a super ball game for the Trojans tonight. And our boy Thor. Nice job. Okay, third and uh, 15. Three minutes and 38 seconds remaining in the football game. Millersburg will go 0, 2, and 2.
Trojans will go one and three. Long pass down here. Can we pick it off? No, we can't. But it was close as uh, Scott Markle just about made the INT for the Trojans. Jeff Miller back there to cover too with uh, Markle. But uh, Scott had the best shot at that one and uh, just could not pick it off. It'll be fourth and 15 for those Indians. Let's see who else we can find out here. Markle's going to check out. Of, no, he's not. I thought he was checking out of the game, but yes, he is. He'll check out, and uh, the uh, speedster out there, Eric Troop, comes in to play a little defense for the Trojans. And here we go on a fourth and 15. Motion coming over this way is 21. QB looking to pass. He'll dump it over here to number 21. Mari in pursuit of him, spins him around, and he falls down out of bounds uh, at about the 30-yard line, close to it anyway. Chris Hoover, tackle made there by number 33, Adam Arts. Adam Arts. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm calling him Mart, but it's Adam Arts, and it was short of the first down, and UDA takes over. So Adam Arts in there with a couple of big stops that time for the UDA. And we'll uh, have a first and 10 now for the Trojans. And, uh, of course, uh, if you talk about putting the, the – uh, Second, uh, I hate to refer to them as the second string. That's who I'm calling the JV team in there. Well, anyway, quarterback of the JV team up until tonight was um, Danny Shell. So sophomore Danny still in there. Not sure who the Trojans will have as their JV quarterback unless uh, Dan can do that also. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, flag is thrown, and so is number 30, Steve Yeager. Steve got nowhere on that one as... Uh, Something happened there. That play didn't look good from the very start. And it's going to be a penalty Ryan against Lyons the Trojans. Making a tackle. Esterline comes off the field for UDA. And um, no gain on the play. So they'll deny the, or refuse, I mean, the, <laughs> the Trojans, Trojans denied the penalty, but they got it anyway. And <laughs> anyway, uh, it's second and 11 now. And Dan will set them up at the 30-yard uh, line. Uh-oh, ball loose in there, and I think he lost it as 62 comes up with it. So as time winds down here, the Trojans are breathing a sigh of relief. The clock is in their favor now. We've got 2 minutes 26 seconds remaining in the ball game, and Millersburg will once again take over here now in a 28-yard line, first and 10. Eighty-five over there is Mace. He's kneeling down here in the uh, side of Kerwin. And here we go on a first and ten from the 28-yard line. So Millersburg getting some opportunities. It's just that the Trojan defense has been tough. Handoff coming across this way now. Look out. Number 24. Could he break the shutout? I believe he will, and he did. Okay, a 28-yard touchdown run that time as Jeff Miller came up finally to make the stop, but it was too late, and Millersburg gets themselves the score to avoid the shutout and uh, makes the score 21-6, to and that came with a minute 52 remaining here in the uh, ballgame. Trojans send the A defensive squad back in here now as they want to deny Millersburg the extra point if they can. <clears throat> and let's see if Millersburg can be successful. They'll go for two, of course. They need all they can get. Quarterback's going to... Wait a minute. What's the matter here? Oh, I see. little play like that. Oh, it's tipped in the air, but gathered in. Well, how about that for a play? My, oh, my, I don't know where Coach Miskinis came up with that. Now, wait a minute. A flag on the play as the quarterback may have been in motion. I think he was. I think he was in forward motion when the play went off. Let's see what they call. I believe they're going to call it motion. They are. Okay. Motion decline, and so that nullifies the extra point. Well, that was, uh, they can't refuse it. No, wait a minute, ref, what are you doing? they got to give him a try. Okay, against the uh, Tro or against the Indians. That time, that was a pretty neat play. It was a good idea. It looks like something you might have found behind the bench somewhere back here where the kids play on the grass behind the bleachers. But anyway, uh, quarterback looked as though he was just simply, uh, you know, calling one of his players as Coach Muskinis comes on. He would like an explanation of this, and Coach is told that you can't do that. Uh, Coach is going to 
you'll say, I'll run this in myself. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the coach um, well, will get himself 15 here if he don't pipe down. But the referee is, uh, you know, standing calmly by with just seconds remaining. And uh, anyway, quarterback, uh, if you watch that, he just tried to kind of act as though he was signaling to one of his men, and the ball was snapped back to one of the other guys who then passed it to the quarterback who was in motion. But I think he was in forward motion um, as he approached the line of scrimmage. I don't think he ever went back, so I think that was the call. Well, they're going to try it again now from uh, seven yards out. The motion over on the right side this time goes at 34. QB looking over that way. He is grabbed at and pounded upon as uh, by number 66, number 66 uh, Cassidy comes up with the Greg initial Cassidy. stop. And Greg makes the good play that Tackle time. And that's going to do it for the Millersburg the Indians as the extra point try is no good. And the Trojans leads 21-6 with a minute 52 left in the ball game. The Trojans will get the ball back. 152 remaining in the ball game. 21-6 is the score, and we'll be back with the Indian kickoff in just one second. Here comes the kick. It is going to be coming over here and uh, picked up or whatever. No, they roll it along and hold it. The ball still loose down there, still loose as they dive for it. And it looks like Millersburg signaling they have recovered it, but I'm not sure. And it was. Millersburg recovered the football. Because I don't know what the heck the Trojans were doing that time. Uh, several of them back there just kind of decided whether they were going to pick it up or weren't going to pick it up or whatever. So the Indians could make this pretty darn exciting here. They got a minute and 40. If they could get a couple of quick plays off here, they could make this uh, exciting ball game. Trojans with the A squad back in there now on defense again. Well, that's a couple of times the Trojans have uh, turned it over many times tonight. And this one's in critical position. Quarterback firing one over into the corner. Got a man out there. It is complete. And uh, let's see, was it a touchdown or what? No, I guess not. Wow. Or what are they ruling? Now, wait, I'm not. Oh, the man's hurt. Okay. But Matt Held with a fine oh, sorry, reception, Fred or Fred Bellis, rather. Receiving in that pass from Matt Dellis uh, with the reception, but my goodness, the ball is down at the, and uh, the ball. two. And about the UDA one-yard line. Son of a gun, can you believe this score? I mean, this game's getting tight. With a minute and nine now left, and... Uh, the clock is running, so we're going to be under a minute. Then, of course, we'll have an onside kick. And indeed, if they score, now maybe we can get this thing back and stop it. But here comes that 21, and uh, he got close to in but did not make it. It'll be second and goal from about the one. And we got 45 seconds left now. So while they place the football, the Indians in a hurry to get it going. And there's only about a foot or so to go for a TD. Will the quarterback sneak it? No. He'll give it to 24. Did he make it in? No, I don't think so. Uh-uh. Right nope. Good line. defense that time by that Trojans. Man, they're making it tough. Clock now down to 22 seconds. That's all. Apparently, Millersburg out of timeouts. As they had they just squandered one here. And now timeout's going to be called by someone. The official, official timeout as we have a man down out here. And it is a uh, Millersburg Indian down. And that stops the clock on an official timeout with just 15 seconds left. And Millersburg Indians down on the one. Be right back. Well, just 15 minutes or 15 seconds remaining in the ball game. And this young Indian injured to the extent that they are going to... Uh, have to give him some real medical attention. Uh, Dr. Bauer is out there to assist tonight. And uh, the ambulance will be taking this young lad uh, to the hospital, obviously, for some kind of uh, exam. And uh, we'll be back here with the final 15 seconds in just a moment.
tell you, they're anxious to get the playoff. Millersburg has lined up. The ambulance is still in the field. But anyway, here we go now on the, uh, let's see, okay, this will be a third goal. down and goal Let's from about the, the two. Be all right. And uh, we are set to go in just a moment. The official here, a referee, waiting until the ambulance gets well out of range, and now we're set to go. Handoff is to 24. Did he get in? He did. Touchdown, Touchdown for Millersburg, and that will stop the clock with uh, eight seconds, eight seconds, seconds remaining clock. and make the score 21 to 12. And Millersburg will get an opportunity to really make this score look respectable. And uh, Trojans should still prevail, but uh, he's got a little close here at the end, <laughs> to say the least. A couple of miscues by the Trojans, adding up to a couple of quick uh, Millersburg scores. And they'll, of course, go for the two. And we'll see if they can get this, or will the Trojans stop them? Got a pass for it, passes it down here. Got a man there, and it's good. So with eight seconds, it's now 21-14. And that really looks like a ball game. Heavens. It was all up or dolphin for the most part. Bunch of miscues on both sides, but the Trojans had... Uh, Lucked out until the very late going here now, and uh, it's going to be an onside kick. And of course, uh, I don't know if the uh, Indians have any timeouts remaining. I don't believe they do. So with just eight seconds left, it's now 21-14, and uh, Trojans hanging over dear life here for eight seconds. Okay, the onside kick would be the uh, call of the day right now, of course. And uh, Enders will kick it off, and we'll watch these Trojans out here. Ball has to cover 10 yards, and uh, here it comes. Keep our eye on the ball. Oh, there it goes. It's kicked a little harder than I would have thought he had kicked it. But nevertheless, it's taken there and downed by the Trojans. And uh, number 24 coming up with the football for UDA. And uh, let's see. That will give the Trojans the first and 10. Ball will be on the 28 yard line. The clock is put in motion, but that's going to do it. And so we congratulate the Trojans tonight on their very first victory as the Trojans win with a final score of 21 to 14. And a happy bunch of Trojans returning to the Trojan locker room this evening. And man, that's a good sign now. They've got a win on the board. Homecoming coming up next week when the Wildcats from Halifax will be the opposition for the, the Trojans and um, perhaps the uh, Trojans will get themselves a win streak okay, together now. They've broken the losing streak and uh, we congratulate Final Coach Hain and the rest of these Trojan uh, the ball players and coaches uh, for a fine effort tonight against the Millersburg Indians. Millersburg goes 0-2-2. Two two. The Trojans go 1-3. and three. So uh, the start of a streak, we hope. And we'll catch you all next week, same time, same station, right back here as the Trojans take on the Halifax Wildcats. Till then, Dale Cowden saying thanks for watching, and I sincerely mean that tonight. It's been a pleasure. Final score once again, the uh, Trojans 42 and the visitors 28. No, <laughs> they changed something on me. Anyway, final score was 21-14, uh, UDA prevailing, okay? Catch you later, and uh, good night. Super Bowl game. Congratulations to Dan Kerwin, or Dan, uh, pardon me, to uh, well, to Dan Kerwin too, but to uh, Danny Shell on quarterbacking the first victory of the '91 season here for UDA. Good job and uh, fine job by a lot of these Trojans tonight. In fact, everybody, the offensive line playing well, defense playing well until it was you know late in the ball game here and a couple of dumbnesses. Uh, kind of give the opposition an extra chance, which they probably didn't deserve, but they got anyway. So.